Hi everyone, I have a few perennials that I'm gonna put in this large, gorgeous container. And then after I put this combination together, I wanna to talk about the difference between planting your perennials in the ground in the spring versus planting your perennials in the ground in the fall. So the first one I'm going to put in this combination is this gorgeous echinacea. Look how pretty that is. This one is called Color Coded Yellow My Darling. And I like it because it has so many different shades of yellow and a creamy yellow and it just blooms and blooms. It's one of my favorite echinaceas. This one here is Party Zone 4 through 8. It'll take uh, part sun to full sun. And it gets about 18 to 24 inches high and spreads about 16 to 20 inches wide. And it just blooms and blooms. I love it. It blooms midsummer through late summer. So it's, it's really a very nice echinacea to have. And then I'm going to put this ever so popular Sweet Romance Lavender. Many of you already know that this is one of Proven Winners best sellers. And you can see why. Out of all the lavenders, this is my favorite. It has the plump purple blooms on them. They're always so gorgeous. And I'm like, you've probably heard me say in some of my other videos, I'm in zone five in Indiana. And this just blooms all summer long and comes back the next year. This is actually Hardy zone five through nine. And it takes full sun. This one gets about uh, 12 to 18 inches high and about 12 to 18 inches wide as well. So it's great in landscapes and borders and in container gardening as well. And another reason I love this lavender is because it will bloom from early summer until early fall. So you will have blooms all summer long with this one. Now, the good thing about both of these perennials is that they are both heat tolerant. They're both drought tolerant. They're both deer resistant. And actually the lavender is even rabbit resistant. I know a lot of you are always looking for something that's rabbit resistant. They both uh, attract bees and butterflies. They're both great pollinators. They are both great for cut flowers and dried flowers. So pairing them together is, is actually perfect. And this is going on my patio. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna have me some cut flowers and some beautiful blooms for quite some time now. Now I have one more spot here that I want to add something to spill over the, the edge just to kind of complete this combination. And what I'm gonna go with is this lemon coral sedum. Look at how pretty this is gonna look with this yellow echinacea. It's gorgeous with the lavender as well. But man, I love these together. If you do this in your landscape and then, and then put this around the front of it, it's so pretty together. This one's not considered a perennial though. This is an annual because it's hardy zone 7A through 11B. It'll take full sun. It gets about three to 10 inches high and you wanna space it anywhere from about eight inches to a foot, eight to 12 inches spacing. I'm gonna pull this one out of here. I love this stuff. I, I have never had any problems with this. It just goes and goes and goes. Now, I when, when I started, I did already have soil in this container, but it was down a little bit so that the perennials would be right at about the top, just a little bit below the top. So this is gonna sink down in. So really quickly, I'm gonna add a little soil so that this doesn't get swallowed inside there. Now I have the soil up a little bit higher so that this won't get lost in there. And I'm gonna put this one right at the corner there. And then I'm gonna go through and fill this in with soil. Isn't 
this so pretty together. I love this combination and I'm excited to put it on the patio. You know, it doesn't always have to be annuals in your containers, right? You can pick out some gorgeous perennials or do a nice combination and pair it with a beautiful container and put it on your deck or your patio. And then the thing is, what I'm gonna do later this fall is I'm gonna take these two here out and I'm gonna put them into the ground. Now there's one more thing I wanted to talk to you about that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And that is the difference between planting your perennials in the ground in the spring versus planting your perennials in the ground in the fall. When you plant your perennials in the ground in the spring, your perennial is putting all of its energy into the blooms and into the foliage. When you plant your perennial in the ground in the fall, your perennial is putting all of its energy into the root system. So it develops a better root system when you plant it first in the fall versus the spring come the following spring you will have a much larger plant and lots more blooms lots more foliage and you will you'll just have a happier healthier plant plus if you plant in the spring just be sure that you're keeping that plant watered all summer long when you plant it in the fall you you don't have to worry about as much of the moisture level of it thank you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you soon